Hi, J Law. Hi, MDTYS. This will be a quick walk going from the Rauha Street Night Market to the Sydney District. Hi, Feng Li from Shanghai. I just took a walk through this night market with my 360 camera and I did not buy anything. Believe me, the urge was there to get something. Hi, Bob Sponge from Uruguay and Slappy Joe from New York City. Hi Shahar from Saudi Arabia. Avril Gwatam from India. Omri de Montfort from Paris. Mark Palma from Estonia. Alicia Jane, welcome. Ingrid from Rio de Janeiro. Iman Deshrad from Iran. I'm doing a walk from the Rauha Market to the Sinyi District. No HAs asking if there's any classic cars I see. I don't really see too many. Ronnie B, good evening from Western Australia. I'm doing great. Chai Mei ER1 from Morocco. What's up, Farkas3131? Jay Beer from Ohio and JSI Firk from Hungary. Sounds like a perfect place for hunger, Hungary. Farkas3131 from North Dakota. Ronnie B says I have 101 subs. That's what YouTube says. But the Creator Studio app says I have 99,657. Patricia Ness asks, how was the breakfast? It was very good, but definitely not worth waiting an hour for. David Rodriguez says, hello. Jay Beer just got up. How was my day? I had a very productive day. I went to the zoo. I rode the gondola. I had traditional Taiwanese breakfast. Then I went to a place called Le Hua Night Market in the Yonghe district of New Taipei City. And then I took the train here to Raohe Night Market. And I did a 360 video walking through Raohe Night Market. And now I'm walking back to Sinyi District where my Airbnb is. Tawana Graham Douglas asking if I'm here for business or vacation. Both. Jay Beer said I had a full day. Yes, I did. 
I try to make every day a full day. I think it's only about a 15 minute walk from that night market to my Airbnb, so it's really convenient. It's an auto repair place. No H8 asking if there's any layovers going back. No, it's a direct flight. Seven Eleven is here. Sandy Moonstone, Zhao Shanghao to you also. No, it's Wan Shanghao. That's good evening. Neo Draxon is asking if it's difficult to travel to Taiwan without knowing Mandarin. Um, I think if you stay in Taipei, it's okay. But if you go out of Taipei, it may be more difficult. But yes, it is possible to survive in Taiwan without knowing Mandarin. A lot of the signs are in English and a good percentage of the population also can speak English. Ibrahim Sada saying good afternoon from the United Kingdom. All right. Rainy J is saying it's been a few days. Good to catch you live again, Action Kid. I'm glad you can make it this time. Hello. Design Ideas saying hello from Rhode Island and it looks a lot like New York City. Yes, it does. David Rodriguez asking when I'm coming to Puerto Rico. I'm not sure. Farkas3131 asked if I've been in any bad situations over there. Uh, no, not any. Uh, Lee Bon is asking if I track the number of steps I walk or miles when I do these videos. No, I just have my iPhone health app track it for me. That's all. But today I did, uh, 24,589 steps. Thank you, Design Ideas. Vic Lau is saying you'd never walk, tw walk 24,000 steps. I do it so you don't have to. Elias Vlogs saying good morning from New York, a place I miss. Welcome to the stream. 
Ian Vera hit from the Netherlands saying hi. TH asking if I took the light rail in Kaohsiung. No, I did not. I don't think I'll have a chance to. Zico Moseng saying good morning. Good morning to you. King Jagger saying hello from Kurdistan. Yes, sir, 5075 from Canada saying thanks. You're welcome. Trippin' Music wants me to say hi. Monica Corbani from Paris, France. And Trippin' Music from Argentina. It's very interesting to see the scenery here. Taipei 101 skyline right there. TH saying there's a new mall in the Xinyi district. There is? I don't even know about it. District Hikes TV asking me what's up. I'm full. I had a nice meal at the Lehua Night Market in Yonghe District in New Taipei City. And then I did a 360 video of the Raohe Night Market and it was so tempting not to buy anything when I was making that 360 video, but I did it. I walked like almost half an hour through that night market, going at like a snail's place the whole time. That'll be a very interesting uh, 360 video. TH is saying it's behind the Apple Store. I thought the Apple Store was inside Taipei 101. Ian Verahid is asking if I'm going to ride any of the scooters. Uh, I don't think I will. No, Hayd is asking what my favorite thing to eat over there. Um, it's very hard. I like the wheel cakes. The wheel cakes are awesome. Ronnie B asking if I'm in the same Airbnb as before. No, I'm not. I'm in a different one in the Sinyi district. Ricardo Colon saying hello. Everything Little One saying greetings from the Philippines. The streets look scary. I don't think it's scary at all. Rainy J is saying it's been warm the last two days. Today is going to be sunny and 52 degrees. Wow, that's warm for New York at this time. Design ideas with the $15 super chat saying great job to our world tour hosts. The world needs more YouTubers like me. Thank you very much. I think the world wouldn't be a better place if more people were like me. No hate asking if I've tried to meet people. Yes, I've met a lot of people here. It's amazing. District Heights TV asking what's the weather like there? It's a very comfortable 70 degrees, I think. Let me check the weather. 68 degrees, and that is 20 Fahrenheit. So 68, 70, almost the same. Monica Corbani asking, will you have a typical dinner to share with us as opposed to breakfast? Well, I think the typical dinner here is like night market food. There really isn't like a typical dinner. Sandy Moonstone is saying the, uh, the weather is good. Vic Lau is asking how to Taipeiers compare to New Yorkers. They're awesome people, just like New Yorkers. Retied Peter Viz asking, saying I take 3,600 steps per hour. Wow, that sounds like a lot. Ricardo Colon is asking, how are my nights going? I'm full from my meal in the Le Hua night market. And then I was so tempted going through Rao Market with my 360 camera, not buying anything. 
it was like almost torture. Dino Bentevinega saying, where am I headed? I'm headed to the Sinyi district area where my Airbnb is. Shouldn't be too far now. Someone asking about the Latte World Tower. No, I do not know about the Latte World Tower. The Greater Bilby. It's just after midnight here in Brisbane. Ricardo Colon asks if it's late there. It's 10.02 p.m. So it is getting a little bit late, but not late for a lot of people in Taipei. They, they're up very late. Andres Law saying hello. Welcome to the stream. Mariana Duh saying be careful. It's so late. Thank you for your concern. Nicole Ritz asking, is it warm? It's 68 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius. Ronnie P is saying, my channel makes me healthy and turns you into couch potatoes. Wow. Neo Traction asking, which tourist destinations in Taipei are actually worth a look to see? Well, I can tell you already, the Mao Kong Gondola, it completely blew my mind away. You have to see that, that's must see. Must see. Fakhar Zaman from Pakistan saying hello. Sanotis Blue saying afternoon from the United Kingdom. And the streets look very clean. Yes, they are. Shina Lace saying hello. Cass K is asking if I bought any Taiwanese electronics during this trip. No, I did not. Ian saying he's likes all the trees that bend over the streets. Yeah, look at this. This is the street I need to turn on. Jung Lu. Yeah, I know. Look at this. This tree is bent. This one's bent too. It doesn't really seem to be any straight trees. Well, maybe this one. This one's kind of straight. Wait, these are all straight too. Steve S, cheers from Colorado. You are the shiznit. I've never been to New York and I dig the hell out of your walking tours. Keep being amazing. Thank you so much. Design idea is saying, imagine if uh, all the followers on YouTube or you are real time on the street, as many as 850 or more. Yeah, that would be. Really funny, really crazy. Thank you, John Muller from Berlin. Yeah, these live walks are exciting, Dino. I love doing them. 123W asking what gimbal is best for the GoPro Hero 8. 
I'm actually looking for one. I don't know yet. I would use my Hero 8, but there is no specific gimbal for it. I've been just using it on a tripod for like short stuff. District Heights TV asking how long my flight was. It was 14 hours for that flight. Alpha Centauri is saying hello. Steve S asking me what brought me to Taiwan. I'm Chinese American and I wanted to experience Asian culture for the first time. Uh, Begrodos18 asking if I've been to Jiao Fen. No, I have not. I think I'll wait for some nicer weather for me to go to Jiao Fen because rain is starting to come soon. No, HA is asking where the scaffolding is. I don't know. There are not many scaffoldings in Taipei. Pumba368, thank you very much, saying they love my channel. Everything Little One saying is Philippines part of my future itinerary, possibly in the future. Ricardo Colon asking how the zoo was. It was amazing. You can check it out on the last live stream. It was about four hours long. But I saw some pandas and they were awesome. District Heights TV asking if I caught the train there. Uh, not the train, but I've taken the metro and the airport MRT. Vertical line, vertical line saying I'm never tired. Seems like that way, right? I just keep going. Oh, Sin saying hello. Hello to you, too. Yeah, it's news now. I wrote it again going down and I filmed it in 360 and regular video. Alright everyone, I am here near my Airbnb for security reasons. I'm not going to film exactly where it is, but I'm going to leave you off here. at the Yongchun MRT station. And I'm gonna say good night. I'm gonna have some nice adventures tomorrow. And I will see you all soon. Take care everyone. Good night, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Peace out.